think she thinks she's a mermaid. I dip my head to you. I do get that. Bum, 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 bum. Take it right off of you, but I haven't got a hat. I'm just a college boy, even at that. Bum, 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 bum. I dip my head to you, but I haven't got a hat. Bum, 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 bum. I'm on! What I do? Coming at you live from Activision. This is CTR TV with your hosts, Chick and Stu. Hey guys, are any of you out there fans of science fiction pioneer Jules Verne? If you are, then viewer discretion is advised. Psst. Hey, yeah, you, come over here. Do you like action, fantasy, sci-fi, genocidal war based on racism? Then I have the perfect movie for you. And this is really really going to hurt. What's that? Logic and practicality would dictate that one must maim a mythical creature. What's that? If one wants to transport a mythical creature, we take our fire axe and chop her tail off. Hack it off. Thank you, movie. Now I'm stuck with this mental image of Kermit the Frog sitting in a movie theater as Jim Caviezel is getting graphically mutilated right in front of him. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the idea that there is some theory that says too much pornography is the reason why a mascot was discontinued. <laughs> Stupid gecko. Who do you think you are? You're not Gex. Apparently they got some little goblin creature to voice that horse. <laughs> it says her signature move is the Osama Bin Laden. What's that? She thinks she's a mermaid. You're blowing my mind right now! <laughs> I dip my head to you! I do get that! Bum, 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 bum. Take it right off of you, but I haven't got a hat! Bum, 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 bum. I'm just a college boy, even at that! Bum, 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 bum. I dip my head to you, but I haven't got a hat! Bum, bum, get away from there, Minetta, you perv! It's not dangerous to any patient. He did something to me. Or a psychiatrist. For the disturbed. <laughs> oh yeah, you only altered the most famous line that Shakespeare ever wrote. Not even the most die-hard Shakespeare fan would ever catch that. Except, I don't know, EVERYONE! that straight jacket. So another thing that this movie is very guilty of is self-narration. There is constant monologuing. The characters will just talk out loud and tell the audience what they think and feel. It's like a shitty version of Mojo Jojo and Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I need some powerful drugs to get over that mermaid fantasy up in her attic. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. They literally put the wah 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 cue into the soundtrack. The only thing that's missing is the awkward shrug. <laughs> just look at her. Why don't you go to hell, you little faker? Did, did, did my dude just say hell is... Yeah, his name's Al hell is for now on. Hell is... Ooh, told ya! K-pop makes everything better. One. Munchy Munchy is an onomatopoeia for eating people. Not just eating in general. Two. Everyone has the right to grow up to be what they want? It's one thing to respect other people's cultures and all that, but cannibalism is bad! Stop trying to justify things that are bad, you baby rapists! What? What are you talking about? It's a movie, it's out there, you can't just take it back. What do you think you are, Sonic? If I was the only one asking to see the other rooms, then everyone would yell at me. 
But since all these guys with bruised egos are on board, I get to join in all inconspicuous-like. The whole class is doing it, so why shouldn't I, right? And I also thought that maybe I shouldn't review this because it's not technically full-on animation, but then I thought, okay, as we all know, this is a bit on brand for my channel, so why the hell not? I'm gonna be rummaging through the girls' rooms. Who knows what scintillating secrets I'll find? Such a fragile mind. I would love to see what he'd look like after seeing some of the movies I've reviewed.